I'm revisiting the project we did in Unit 2 on ch changing properties. I added an extra button here on this one though for limes. I wanted two fruits that both started with the letter L for a demonstration of key mnemonics. Now a mnemonic key is one that gives access to the control without having to use the mouse. So I have mnemonics set up on this application. Look very closely at the buttons when I press the Alt key. And you'll see there's a little underscore underneath some of the letters of these buttons. So I have an underscore under A for apples and B for bananas and C for cherries. For lemons I have the E underscored, limes L, plums P, strawberries is S, and watermelon is W. I can press an Alt key and the A and get apples. And then I can press Alt B for bananas, Alt C for cherries, Alt E for lemons, L for limes, Alt P for plums, Alt S for strawberries, and Alt W for watermelon. It's the same as clicking on those buttons using the key mnemonic. Now how do we set those up? It's actually very simple. All we do is in the text property of the button, we put an ampersand in front of the letter that we want to be the mnemonic. So I put an ampersand in front of the A for apples, and that gives it an Alt A key mnemonic. For the watermelon, I put an ampersand in front of the W for watermelon. Again, this is in the text property. Now, the reason I did lemons and limes, I can't have two that are the same. I couldn't have two L's. So you're not required to use the first letter. If you think about, oftentimes we have an exit button, and it's usually the letter X that is the key mnemonic. So I did the E for lemons, and then went back to the first letter of L for limes. That's how we set up key mnemonics. Now again, the user has to press the Alt key, usually to see the, the mnemonic keys that are underlined, and then Alt and the letter to access the key. However, once you do something like Alt A, I can just press the letter B, C, E, L, P, S, and W. So the Alt key is, in a sense, almost sticky. Let's take a look at another example. When I press the Alt key in this example, notice that I have an underline in the label of enter first name that's to the left of the first text box, and the L for enter last name. So we can set up labels with key mnemonics that are prior in the tab order to the text box we want to navigate to. I can't set up a mnemonic on the text box itself because the text property is what we are entering into. So we use the label to the left. Now it's not just labels or buttons. So I have a submit button here that has an Alt S for submit. But over on the right hand side, I've added a, a group box which contains four radio buttons. Now we haven't talked about radio buttons yet and we will down the road soon. But for each of the radio buttons, they have a text property. That's the caption of the radio button. And so here for class standing, I have Alt A for freshman, Alt B for sophomore, Alt C for junior, and Alt D for senior. So when, as a user, I could enter a first name and then do an Alt L for that enter last name. And notice my cursor jumps to the last name text box. Then I can choose a class standing. I'm gonna do Alt B, and same as clicking on the sophomore radio button. And then I can do an Alt S for the submit button, and I get the output of welcome Frank Williams as a sophomore, a bit more comfortable than last year, question mark. And I see I misspelled com comfortable. Let me do an Alt A for freshman, and uh, I'll go back and do an Alt F. Let's change the first name from Frank to Martha. And then I can do an Alt S and I get a welcome Martha Williams. Nice to see a freshman face. Let's do an Alt C for junior and an Alt S for submit. And now I'm still getting welcome Martha Williams, but that second line has reflects her junior status. As a junior, you're more than halfway to your degree. What if we change that to an Alt D for senior and Alt S for submit? And now I get for that second line, ah, a senior, graduation is in sight. So it provides opportunities maybe for somebody who has a disability 
and finds it difficult to use a mouse or doesn't want to have to move their hands off the keyboard to, to grab the mouse and click on things to access controls via the keyboard. And again, these were all set up with the text property for the label, the radio buttons, and the submit button. Putting an ampersand in front of the letter that we want to make the alt, the mnemonic access key. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the Programming Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.